of the Omo Agege Delta Central Senatorial District. Mr. President, let me begin by saying that uh, on a good day, I ordinarily would align myself with the intent behind this bill, ordinarily. But Mr. President, I'm taking aback. This is not a bill for constitutional amendment. It is not a bill to amend the Constitution. It is not. I think uh, Senator Moro ought to know very well. As my brother and colleague alluded to earlier, the Constitution is very, very clear. To deprive somebody of the right to run for office through a provision of a piece of legislation enacted by the National Assembly, which is contrary to the provision of the Constitution, will render that very act of National Assembly null and void as it should be. Not too long ago, we had this exercise to amend uh, the Constitution. I would have expected uh, this is a good bill. This is a very, very good bill. I would have expected the uh, moral to bring this bill, and most of us would have, uh, would have gone for it. But while waiting for the next opportunity, Mr. President, at least until Senator uh, Nara spoke, I was very, very curious that everybody who was speaking and contributing were from the other side, the PDP. And I found it very, very interesting. Interesting because we, in APC, we believe in the intent behind this bill. That is why after, excuse me, let me speak, I'm on the floor. That is why, Mr. President, that is why, Mr. President, after eight years of President Muhammadu Buhari, all of the governors of Southern Nigeria, they met in Asaba. Excuse me, I have the floor, and I have the protection of Mr. President. You know, they met, Mr. President, I'm sure I have your protection. Uh, uh, DSP, yes. you are protected. Uh, Senator Bete Apiafi, stop harassing the DSP, please. In Asaba, the Delta State, all the governors, our elected governors, people we elected to govern us in the entire southern Nigeria, they all met and took a position as enshrined pretty much in this uh, lead uh, uh, debate. Mr. President, not only that, our governors in the north of APC extraction also took the position as enshrined. Excuse me, I have the floor. The, uh, DSP. The, the, DSP. Yeah, you have. Okay. Uh, the mic, uh huh. So all the governors in northern Nigeria of APC extraction aligned with the position of the governors of Southern Nigeria irrespective of political parties and supported the content of this very bill. But Mr. President, we now know what has happened. These people here, our colleagues on the other side, our colleagues on the other side, Mr. President, if they are serious, the first thing they need to do, the first thing they need to do is to plead, is to plead with their presidential candidate to step down from the race so that, so that power, so that, so that power after eight years can come to Southern Nigeria in line. Mr. President, I have the floor. I have the floor. I have the floor, Mr. President. 
I have the floor. You know, that is, see, Mr. President, we don't need to codify it. Why are we waiting to codify this into law? Charity begins at home. Why are we waiting to codify this into law? Why don't we do, do what is right? Why don't we do what is needful? Having the North having had power for eight years, power should come to the South. So did you tell uh, uh, the presidential candidate to stand up from the race? Thank you, Mr. President.